Hello everyone and welcome to a series of lectures on project management. Project management is taught in the second semester of the MBA program. Your faculty is Dr. Suchitra Shravasta, professor in the SAGE group of institutions in the department of management. So let us begin by understanding what is a project. A project may be defined as a temporary endeavor undertaken to accomplish a unique product or service. Let us now understand what are the attributes of projects. By attributes we mean what are the elements or what are the features of a project. The first attribute or the first feature is that each project has a unique purpose. The second is that a project is a temporary activity, meaning, meaning that it has a definite start and a definite end point. So once the objectives are accomplished, we say that the project is complete. Now, project requires certain amount of resources, often from various areas. So we may understand that a project can be completed with the help of men, material, machines, money or the capital. So these are the different resources that are pooled together to accomplish the given set of objectives. The next attribute is that each project should have a primary sponsor and or a customer, meaning that a project specifications or the objectives that have to be accomplished in a given project are dictated by either the customer or the sponsor. Now, this person may be an individual or an agency is responsible for providing the funding or the capital in order to accomplish the objectives. The last feature is that a project involves uncertainty. This means that there is a certain amount of uncertainty involved once we undertake a project. Uncertainty in terms of the time in which the project may be completed, uncertainty in terms of the money or the capital that may be required to complete the project. So we may say that we may have a tentative idea about the uh, amount of money that would be spent or the amount of uh, time it would take to complete. But we can never be sure before the commencement of the project that it, uh, that this is going to be the exact amount that is going to be spent. Let us now discuss some examples of projects. A research activity comes under the category of a project. It has a definite set of objectives that have to be accomplished and a given set of methodology that is going to be used in order to accomplish those objectives. So we may say that conducting a research effort whose outcome will be properly recorded or documented is a project. The next example is that of the construction work. Now construction of a building, construction of an industrial plant or any infrastructure for that matter comes under the category of a project. By infrastructure, we mean the construction of maybe metros, railways, tracks, or the highways, the bridges. All of these come under the category of a project. The next example is that of implementing change or implementing certain improvements in the existing business processes. Now, once we initiate the change process, we say that the project has started. Once the change is complete, once the 
business process has changed entirely or changed for a part we say that the project is complete let us now discuss the characteristics of project a project contains well defined objective the project objective is defined in terms of scope or requirements schedule and the cost the second characteristic is that a project is carried out via a set of interdependent tasks so there is a chain of tasks that have to be completed in order to complete the project the third characteristic is that a project uses various resources to carry out these tasks so as discussed earlier the different resources could be men materials money machines etc which are used in order to accomplish the tasks continuing with the characteristics of projects a project has a definite start date and an expected completion date now as discussed earlier we are, there is a certain amount of uncertainty involved in the duration of the project that is in the beginning of the project we are not 100% sure that a project will complete on a given time and date now the actual completion date may not always be the same as the expected date the next characteristic is that a project is a one time or a unique endeavor the last characteristic is that a project has a customer now this customer or agency gives the specifications of the project thank you for your patient learning we will learn more about projects in the following lectures